Testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. Greetings, this is Edward Ojambo. In this tutorial, JavaScript assignment operators will be used for numeric calculations and manipulations. This is brought to you from the jumboshop.com learning JavaScript course. Assignment operators are used to assign a value to a variable or an expression. In this tutorial, we'll just be assigning them to a variable. The assignment types can be arithmetic, logic, bitwise, shift, and compound operators. So in this particular case, for this tutorial, we're only going to do arithmetic. And yeah, that's all we're going to do. In the future tutorials, we'll do the rest of them. As you can see in this table here for assignment operators, we have the bitwise here, examples. So you can do that on yourself. And some oh, this shift is here as well. So here's some sample codes for you to try. And we will begin shortly. So for this tutorial, I'm going to use the jumboshop.com learning JavaScript course web ID, which also inspired this tutorial. So I'll create some variables. One equals five, let num two equals three. And then for simple additions, so I'll create a new variable and I'll call it num add. See, I assign it to the same number, I can simply say num add plus equals num2 and create num sub for subtraction equals num1 and I can say num sub minus equals num2 and create this is for multiplication and I say num multiply 2 So we'll make the division num1 and we'll just say num div equals num2 then we we'll make a modulus num1 just say num1 And finally, we'll do exponation. Then we we just need to print all these values out. modulus 1 explanation and you see they will come here so for example if we go to the output here the addition was simply we took the value of 1 add the value of 2 for the subtraction, we took the value of 5 minus 3, which is 2. And for multiplication, again, it was whatever value of 5 times 3, which is 15. The division, 5 divided by 3 is 1.66. And for modulus, it's 5 divided by 3. The remainder, that's modulus, is 2. And the last one is explanation, that's 5 to the power of 3 is 125. 
So you can get the full article at ojumbo.com slash javascript hyphen assignment hyphen operators. The links will be in the description. Be sure to subscribe as well. Uh, here's a sample table for all the operators we used for this tutorial. You can click here to get the code snippet if you want to try it on your own without uh, the course. And so the course uh, screenshots. Uh, this particular uh, uh, chapter content and we're here as well this is just more screenshots this is the video you're watching right now and if you want to learn javascript you go to uh, go to jumboshop.com there's other courses like this python course php course and they or if you prefer ebooks they are on amazon and the links are also here uh, they're also in the description but you can see the learning javascript course learning php course learning ph a python course uh, ebooks on amazon python ebook php ebook and ojumbo services for custom website application and tutorials so here you see the learning javascript course until the end of 2024 you can still get 20 percent off uh, using a promo code school you get all the information just to show you how easy it is uh, to go through the course and if you're on Amazon you simply type for Edward Jumbo, and then you click on my name there or oh, I said you can also use li the links in the description this is the learning PHP course and then there's a learning uh, Python course remember if you have Kindle Unlimited you'll be able to get the learning uh, Python ebook for free uh, the learning JavaScript course will be upcoming very soon this week. If you go to jumboservices.com, so custom websites, uh, custom applications, or if you want one-on-one uh, -on -one tutorials uh, for students, office workers, beginners, if you want to learn how to program or databases or just use uh, popular software, uh, it can help you with that. You can do a call this number if you're in north america if you're outside north america if you can do a direct dial this is the number to call or you can best way to contact is to use the contact form for the information and get back to you within 24 hours thank you